Welcome to the first Robocop Humanoid Spotlight video. This video is part of a new initiative by the organizing committee of the Virtual Humanoid Soccer Competition to keep teams more in the loop on the current status of the organization of our virtual event. Because at the moment there is a lot of very rapid development, both when it comes to the simulator and the implementation of the simulator, but also all the documents evolving around it, like the specifications of the robot models and a lot of details that we are adding um, in a very rapid fashion. And we want to make sure that all of the teams are always up to date with what's going on. So a new spotlight will be published every Monday and it will summarize the main point that we have discussed or that have been decided or that's been going on during the last week. And then it will also take a look at what you should have an eye on in the upcoming week. We also decided that we want to have an easier step for teams to get in touch with us organizers. So for this, we will have what we call office hours. We will have them Tuesdays from 9 to 9.30 in the morning Central European time and 5 to 5.30 p.m. Central European time every Tuesday. And during this time period, one or multiple of us organizers will be available on Discord, both for chat and also voiced questions. So if you have any question, if you have a comment, if you just want to discuss something, don't hesitate to just come and approach us during those periods of time. We will then publish a weekly newsletter on Thursdays that we send over the Robocop Humanoid mailing list. And this will both summarize topics that I've been going over in the spotlights and also the important questions that have been asked and the answers to that during the office hours. And we hope that with this new initiative, we can reduce the overload for teams with all the information coming in and make it more easy to reach out during this crucial point in the organization process. So today's spotlight, I really want to start with talking about the Cyberbotics release. As you've probably seen, Cyberbotics has released a first version of our virtual environment for the competition. And it is already containing the texture for the artificial grass, you can see that it already looks like artificial turf and that the field lines are also um, already both in the correct coloring and in the right dimensions, as is the entire field. And also the goals with the nets behind the goals are in the correct sizes. In the proto that was released, you have two different versions. You have a kid size and an adult size field. And when you switch between them, both the dimensions of the field update, but also size of the game ball. You'll also see that you have four Darwin OP robots in the kit size field for each team and two for each team on the, on the adult size field. And this robot model is just there to give you hopefully a head start on how to design your own robot model for the virtual competition. There are still some crucial points that are not final yet. So first of all, the artificial turf will change in the contact dynamics. So meaning that we will update the grass in a sense that when you have a robot walking on it, it will capture more the instabilities that robots usually face when walking on artificial turf. The ball will also change. So the ball will change both in the texture that's applied, but also in its behavior so that it's more close to the actual behavior of the FIFA ball on the artificial grass. And then last point that's going to change is that the Darwin model is going to be updated to include a backlash implementation, again, just for teams to see how this can be implemented in their own robot models. We expect these updates to be ready for the next release, which is planned for March 22nd. And right now we are on time for this release. The next topic are the registration fees. There have been an update from the overall organizers of the 2021 RoboCup competition, and they have announced that the registration fee for and for teams will be 100 US dollar, including one member as registered part of it. And then there's also going to be a registration fee per team member that depends on the status group of that member. And you can find all that information on the official 2021 RoboCup website. 
as in previous years, to actually register for the competition with the Federation, you first need to have the approved submission by us, the technical committee of the Humanoid League. That works as follows. So in this year, this, once you submit something, the admission is automatic, meaning that every team that registers with us is automatically going to be admitted to participate in the tournament. So once you have submitted and the submission period has stopped on, May, on April 12th, at this point, you will very soon receive a registration code from us organizers. And with this registration code, you can then register to the overall competition. But before you can do this, you have to wait for the email that you will receive from the technical committee. And we expect this to happen very soon after April 12th. The last part I want to go over that happened last week was that we had workshops with the teams where we talked about both the current status of the competition rules. We went over the specifications for the robot models. We talked about the API between the simulator and the robot or the robot control software. And also talked a little bit about the server specifications. We created several documents that are based on this discussion. So first of all, on the Humanoid website, you'll see now that we released a new version of the rulebook that already contains at least parts of what we've discussed in this workshop. We've also created two new documents. One of them is the API. So that API, as I said, shows how the communication between the robot model as part of a simulator and your robot control software running outside the simulator, how they can communicate. And the second document is summarizing the requirements for those robot models on the field. Both of them, as you can see here, are linked from the Robocop Humanoid website, and you can find um, the current status of that document there. So what's going to happen next week? There is still a number of open questions on all those three documents I just went over. So there are still some things we're discussing actively on the forum about the rulebook, the robot models, and that simulator API. And we're also discussing some specifications on the server infrastructure. And we're still very much welcoming input by all teams on those topics. We are also aiming to publish the recording of the Cyberbotics workshop that happened two weeks ago on our other YouTube channel. Otherwise, you're welcome to come and discuss with us and ask questions during the office hours tomorrow and you'll receive further updates in our newsletter on Thursday. As I said in the beginning of this video, we are publishing new Spotlight videos every week. So if you don't want to miss one of our uploads, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and also enable notifications just to make sure that you receive a new update on this channel as soon as we publish it. With this, I say bye and I'll see you next week.